Morgan, this is James Routon, and welcome to my podcast. These podcasts are a collection of my thoughts and my ideas. In a recent podcast, we talked about why cultures will fail, and I started talking about organizational cultures as opposed to safety cultures. We will continue our discussion and look at another way to enhance your culture. In the podcast on Why Cultures Fail, we had a very limited discussion on Theory X and Theory Y, developed by Douglas McGregor. In today's session, I want to take the discussion a little bit farther and talk about the Hawthorne studies as it relates to Theory X and Theory Y. So my question for you is, was the Hawthorne study really about productivity, or was it about employee participation? In the early years of management science, the Hawthorne studies came about as a result of experiments conducted at Western Electric and involved changes in workplace conditions that produced unexpected results in employee performance. Two teams of employees took place in these experiments, where the lighting conditions for one team was changed. Productivity for that group rose dramatically. The interesting thing to happen is that production also improved in the group where the lighting remained unchanged. The studies were undertaken in an effort to determine what environmental effects such as hours of work and periods of rest, might have on employee fatigue and productivity. As these studies progressed, it was discovered that the social environment could have an equal, if not greater, effect upon productivity than the physical environment. The studies reveal the influence that informal work groups can have on the productivity of employees and on their response to such factors as supervision and financial incentives. These studies emphasize the impact of human motivation on production and output. When the first phase of experiments began, it was believed that every social problem was ultimately individual. The results found that group rather than individual psychology was a key factor in the production performance of the employees. An organization is a formal arrangement of functions as well as a social system with different cultures. Therefore, contribution to management philosophy was important to the field of managing employees by revealing the importance of human emotions, reactions, and response to managing others. It also pioneered the concept of good communication between management and employees. The importance of the relationship of working groups to management is one of the fundamental problems of organizations. Organizing teamwork, developing, and sustaining cooperation has to be a major goal of management today. Since the Hawthorne study, many studies have added much to the knowledge of human behavior, sincere participation at all levels of the organization. In solving organizational problems, can to some degree foster a more open and trusted environment and a greater emphasis on the groups. The objective of employee participation is to encourage everyone to help in the structuring and effective functioning of the organizational process thereby helping with the decisions that directly affect personal safety. If done correctly, the increased trust between management and employees will provide everyone a means to use their insights and energy for achieving the organizational goals and objectives. From a safety standpoint, if you were to look deeper into the Hawthorne study, in my opinion, someone was paying more attention to these employees in the study, and that is why productivity increased in this group. The missing link of true employee participation means just paying closer attention to employees and hearing what they have to say. And if you want them involved, just ask them. You might be surprised they may want to get involved in the safety process. I believe that the study revealed the underlying solution to our safety problems, trusting employees to take on assigned activities and completing these activities with the support of the management team. This is added accountability at the employee level. If you present a problem, most of the time you will get a solution. As I said before, you just have to ask for the solution. This was just a quick overview of my thoughts and ideas on the Hawthorne Theory. Thank you for listening to this podcast. I wish you luck in your journey to a successful safety culture. This is James Routon.